Hey everyone, this is Spoonie Bard. I'm back with another video showing off some of the books I just found at the dollar store. I'm also going to give a little personal update at the end, but I'll do the books first just in case you don't want to stick around. Okay, so the first book is called Stumptown. Uh, this is written by Greg Rucka, and this was actually adapted into a TV series in 2019 on ABC. Uh, it seems like it was actually received really well. Um, and I read that they had ordered a second season, but due to the global health crisis, the show ended up being canceled. Anyways, this is volume four, The Case of the Cup of Joe. Now, uh, just a little personal, uh, irk that I found. Um, typically they're supposed to, I don't know if they legally have to, but typically they'll tell you, uh, which issues are collected inside the, uh, trade paperback or the hardcover. This one did not, so I had to do the research on my own. This book contains issues 6 through 10 of Volume 3 of Stumptown. This is actually the last uh, storyline for the series so far. Anyways, uh, I haven't seen the show. Uh, I just know that the uh, main character is uh, former Army, um, and now she's working at a, as a private eye to pay off her debts and help support her brother. The art in this book is really cool, so I hope the story is just as good. It's written by Greg Rucka, who does a lot of um, good work when it comes to sort of uh, crime drama, his stuff on Batman, um, the Gotham Central series he co-created with Brubaker. If you guys seen the Stumptown show, let me know if it's worth checking out first. Otherwise, I'm probably going to try to read this book, and if I like it, then I'll check out the show. So this book is from Line Forge Comics. It's part of their shared Catalyst Prime universe. This is Excel Volume 1. I already have Volume 3. Um, I don't know much about this other than the fact that he's a speedster, which seems to be a requirement in a comic book universe. Uh, it is created and written by Joe Casey, who has a great track record. And the artist by Damien Scott, who I'm familiar with uh, from uh, his art on Robin about a decade ago. And the last book is also from Lion Forge Catalyst Prime. This book is Astonisher. This is Volume 1, Enemy Within. This book collects the Free Comic Book Day 2017 Catalyst Prime The Event, which is what sort of kick-started their whole uh, comic universe. And it also has issues number one through four of Astonisher. Now, the cover looks cool. And on the back, it does say something about um, this is a guy who has PTSD after the event, after trying to save the world. And now he has the power to travel inside the minds of superpowered people. So I don't know exactly what that is. Um, means the art looks cool especially when they go into some of the the dreamscapes and the the art style changes a little bit becomes darker so this definitely seems like it could be one of the cooler books from the catalyst prime stuff based off of just what i've seen so far and here you can see my complete collection of the catalyst prime books okay so that's it for the book section and now for that personal thing so I have epilepsy, and when I get overwhelmed or stressed, I get really disoriented and tired. And I love making videos for you guys. It's been really fun for me, and I have a couple ideas of things I want to do. But because my health has been kind of rocky in that regard, it's hard for me to kind of focus on one particular thing. So if you guys don't mind, if you can leave a comment just telling me what type of stuff uh, you've enjoyed that I've put out so far, and I will definitely try to see if I can incorporate that into future videos. And uh, other than that, you know, thanks for watching. I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.